everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the Narwhal app settings for your Narwhal Frio X Plus. If you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Now let's go ahead, let's jump right in. First, we're looking at the Narwhal Frio app, specifically our Frio X Plus within the app. And we can swipe to the left or to the right to add devices or view our other connected devices. In this case, we have all of the Narwhal Frio devices. The X Plus gives us this screen on the front with its current status. It's on standby, 100% charged, and we can select enter the device homepage. This takes us to a detailed map that's going to give us access to all of our device settings. So front and center, here's a look at the map right here and how we have it configured. Currently, we just have it set up with one room. We have a no-go zone, we have our carpet and our floor types visible. We'll start in the top right-hand corner. The first icon is gonna be your settings icon. We can view our device name. We can view our robot information here. We can restart it, reset the network, unpair. All of that can be done right there from those settings. We can update the firmware. We have our clean settings. What default mode do you want to set it in? What about Frio Advice? Edge mode, always or smart. Pick and choose your clean settings there. Then we have our general settings. If you want to toggle any of these on, you can. Stairless mode, do not disturb. High altitude mode, child lock. Family with pets. Moisture proof pad. Auto dust bin. You get the idea. So you can toggle all of those on or off. Pretty cool. Then we have our map editing. So this is where we can view all of our map settings. We can split rooms, merge rooms, rename rooms, add furniture, adjust floor material, carpet settings. So depending on the carpets that we have selected, what do you want to have happen to that particular piece of carpet, rugs, you get the idea. We have four settings to choose from. Do you want it to clean it, sidestep it, cross over it, or regular cleaning? Basically it would treat your rug like any other floor so it could mop over it too. Customize and default settings there for carpets. And then we have our no-go zones. This is where we can add no vacuum and mop zones, no vacuum zones, or no mop zones. So all that can be arranged right there. Now moving back out, back on this screen, we can manage our accessories. So we get a nice rundown and breakdown of each individual part and component and when it's time to conduct maintenance. So you can see everything there. Language and voice settings, we have a help section and third party control. This is where you're gonna set it up with Siri, Amazon or Google. Back to this main screen, we have the X icon in the upper top right hand corner next to the settings icon. That will take us back to the main overview if we want. Below that we have the 3D option so we can view a 3D map right here, which is pretty cool. And below that we have some additional map settings so you can choose the color, you can choose what you want to display and display the floor plan if you want to toggle that on or off. That's an experimental feature. So that's pretty cool. You can see it that way. It's really just up to you how you want to configure things. Maybe you don't want furniture shown or the room names. That's fine. It can be customized as you see fit. Then below that, we have the circle with the dot in it. So that's going to be our base station options. So base station, we have dust canister disinfection. That's the only thing that we have right here. So we can select that. And now currently that task is running. And we can end it if we want. We also have accessory options and manage accessories, which is a screen we already looked at. Further down, we have options to clean by room or by zone. So pick and choose what you want and you can clean multiple zones. And Further down, you'll notice our clean options. Do you want to vacuum and mop, vacuum then mop, vacuuming, mopping, or customize? Then we have a task tab, our play button to start our clean, and we can also view our cleaning history. So we get a nice breakdown here of each clean. So we can select that. There's a map. There's a look at its path. Everything's color coded for us right there. Basically, it ran for an hour and cleaned 500 square feet. Pretty cool to see that in real time to get a feel for the clean. And towards the bottom, we can view it by week, month, or year. So that's it. It's a simple, straightforward app that's easy to navigate and find exactly the setting that you're looking for to configure it how you want.